Hi guys, hope you're doing well. It seems like ages since I've done a video. I think it's only been a week or so. Um, but first of all, before I talk about today's subject, um, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that I've met over the last couple of weeks at Bike Meets and when I've had my little trip to I. I've met so many of you and it's been really, really great. Um, I won't go through all the names because there's literally too many and it's, it's, it's incredible. I love my YouTube channel, I'm sure I said that before. Um, and thanks for all the comments and the emails that I always get and they're always so positive. I really appreciate you guys, so thank you. Um, I did have an email from um, a subscriber called Alan, I think. Yeah, Alan his name was. And he said um, that he, his wife enjoys my Rob stories and um, could I tell the story again? Because you couldn't find the video and I have no idea how you'd find the video of this particular story. Um, and he told me the, the subject and actually it wasn't a Rob story. It was um, <laughs> another friend of mine. And um, funnily enough, I saw this friend yesterday, his name's Wayne. Um, and I, I really thought I'd, I'd tell it again today. I, I think I told it maybe a year ago or so. Um, but when Alan sent this email and then I saw Wayne yesterday and I thought I've got, I've got to tell people this story again because it always makes me smile. It doesn't make him smile, but it, it does make me smile. And this is going back a long time. We were in our 20s and Wayne got a flat in London, a really lovely flat. Um, and it was an art deco building. It was um, stunning on the outside and the flat was really lovely really spacious had really big windows and massive ceilings it was it was so nice and it was literally five minutes away from where i lived so um i used to go around there a lot one day he phoned me up and said willie you've got to come around i need you and so i thought okay so i i went around there went up to his flat and he said did you notice the girl sitting outside on the bench outside the block of flats and i said no i didn't see anybody and he took me to the window and he said you can see the girl out there and i said yeah he said, well, he said about three weeks ago, I had a one night stand with her um, and she came back here, stayed the night and I gave her my telephone number, but with a digit wrong. <laughs> so it's not really your telephone number. <laughs> Who does that? Anyway, except for Wayne. Um, I said, right. And he said, well, I think she's stalking me because she has been out sitting on that bench for the last three days. And I said, what? Well, have you not gone over to see her? No, 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 I don't want to see her, I don't want to see her. He said, what I need you to do is to go down there and tell her that I've died. <laughs> I said, I'm not doing that. I'm not, definitely, definitely not doing that. He said, well, tell her I've moved. I said, I can't because surely you've been out, haven't you, for the last three days? He said, I've been in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> so he's wearing a baseball cap and he had his face covered in a scarf. Wayne is a very distinctive man. He's same height as me, maybe a bit shorter. Black guy, very good looking. And you would spot Wayne in a crowd, definitely. So I thought, well, that's really weird. He said, well, I've been going out with a baseball cap on, my scarf over my face. I've been running round the corner to the car and uh, she, she hasn't noticed or she hasn't got up. I thought, right, okay. She said, he said, so please go down there and just see what she wants. So I thought, all right. So I went down there, felt a bit weird, sat on the bench and she had a notebook out and she looked like she was writing stuff down. I thought maybe she is stalking him. Maybe she's writing down the times he leaves and stuff like that. So I was looking over and then I suddenly realized that she wasn't writing, she was drawing. So I said to her, oh, what are you drawing? Um, like the weird bloke on a bench would. <laughs> and she said, oh, I'm drawing that building, the Art Deco building where Wayne lived. She said, I'm an art graduate and um, this is part of my course. And I said, ah, right, okay. I said, so you don't know anyone that lives in that block? And she said, no, 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 no. I'm just, I, I, it's literally my last day here and then I'll be done. I said, ah, right. And she said, oh, what? Well, do you know someone there or something? Why, why are you asking me these questions, basically? And I said, well, look, <laughs> it sounds weird, but I do have a friend that lives in that block and he thinks that you were his ex-girlfriend. I didn't say a one night stand because it sounds, I didn't want to make Wayne look worse than he is. <laughs> um, and he thought you were his ex-girlfriend and he, he was worried that he, you were sitting out on the bench. And she said, 
He's not a tall black guy, is he? <laughs> I said, yeah, how did you know that? And she said, I've just seen this really strange black guy. He's got a scarf around his face and he sprints out of the flat. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's him. <laughs> so anyway, went back up to the flat and Wayne was waiting by the door. Open the door. Well, 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 I said, mate. We, we need you need to sit down come let's come in and we'll talk about it and he he was panicking literally panicking and i said mate he said well what did she say what does she want i said mate she's pregnant <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna go to hell oh god anyway that was the story i i didn't keep the story going for more than a week <laughs> <laughs> but I was talking to him about it yesterday and he remembers the story slightly differently and he thinks that I said that she was pregnant with triplets <laughs> <laughs> which I, I don't think I said but anyway um that was the story Alan that you were referring to I think and it wasn't Rob it was Wayne I've got some weird friends haven't I um so guys the winter is, well, autumn's definitely here. It is definitely much colder out. Now, I went to uh, Two Wheel Tuesday last week, and um, I think I think they're going, the, the Two Wheel Tuesday is running to the end of October, someone said to me. Um, so I'm, I might go to one more, but um, in the winter, I tend to hibernate sort of bike-wise. Although this summer, uh, this winter, I'm definitely going to go out the bike more because um, I live where I do and it's perfect for just popping out for half an hour whereas where I used to live it wasn't so much fun so I'll definitely be biking but not as much um let me talk to you about my bike um in fact shall I spin you around and take you into the garage <laughs> why do I feel I've said that before all right let me turn the camera around would my video be not the same if I didn't do a little tour of the garden <laughs> Everything's growing, <laughs> as plants do. Let me show you the secret slap and tickle gone. Oh, I think someone's moved in next door, by the way, guys. I have to be quiet, or maybe not. I thought I saw movement earlier on. Um, so we've put an arch up, look. It's certainly starting to look more like a country garden. I've got, uh, I bought that the other day and I've just forgotten the name of it. Clematis, Clematis. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, loving our secret garden. So guys, let's talk about motorbikes. Let's get in the garage first actually and uh, then we can chat. It's definitely got colder. I'll definitely be doing videos over the winter in my garage because this year obviously I have electricity and I have just made a purchase which I will show you sadly it doesn't have two wheels but look at that so I'm going to be nice and warm in my garage over the winter so I can continue doing videos um, right guys so I've said to you before that th this is a keeper I, I, I've never ridden a bike that I've loved more than this bike and I am so sure in myself that this will be with me for years. Um, and really, it is the only bike I... I mean, you only ever need one bike, don't you? But I've always thought I'd get a second bike. And um, I don't think I'm going to. I mean, I could get another Classic 350. And I have to be honest with you, I've got a buddy in Tucson, Arizona. In fact, go and check his channel out. It's the Gila Monster Rides um he has got two royal enfields he's got a interceptor and he's got a classic 350 and he's just done a video on the classic 350 a kind of review video but he's done loads to it and i just watched his video and i thought oh do you know what i could really do with another classic 350 so it's always a little voice in my head saying go on buy another one willie but at the moment because we're spending so much money on the house it's just not uh, an option um but in the spring it might very might, that might change so we'll see so i'm definitely i said to you i wasn't going to buy anything else for the bike didn't i i lied 
<laughs> um, not intentionally. But someone mentioned, oh, it's my mate Scott, actually. He sent me a picture of um, one of the, uh, the Z900 RSs in this colour. And it had the rear hugger. The, it, it was colour coded in sort of uh, green and yellow. So that is going to be my next purchase, I think, because I think it would really look nice on the bike. I've also bought a magnetic tank bag because I don't want to put a pannier on this bike. I think it looks so nice. I don't want to spoil it. But this is very handy. Um, I suppose, let me ask you a question. For those of you who got tank bags, do you bother putting the strap around the, the neck of the, the bike or do you think it's safe enough? I'm not going to go mad on the motorway with it, but just for going around... I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, so I'm going to get the rear hugger and then I'm definitely going to get the the one that goes here. Um, so that's the next two things for the bike and they will happen over the well, the next month or two. But yeah, guys, I, I, my subscribers have gone up so much since I bought this bike and I can only think it's because people are interested in the Kawasaki Z900 RS and Honestly, I know I'm boring myself when I say it, but if you are thinking about one of these bikes, take one out. And if you find it snatchy, which I did on both my test rides, just remember that that can be cured because I, there are some people that, that haven't got a problem with it and don't think that it needs to be remapped. And that's fine. But I know at least four people now that have bought these and have either had them remapped or are going to have them remapped. And speaking personally, it is like night and day. I know I've said this before. It is a game changer. And the bike is perfect now. Absolutely perfect. Uh, one of you guys were asking about the suspension. I've got absolutely zero problem with it. it I, I'm a 17 stone fatty and it, it's perfect for me. It's perfect when my other half's on the back. She's not a 17 stone fatty. Um, and the brakes, I think some, someone mentioned the brakes. The brakes are perfect. I, I've, I mean, they're as good, if not better, than all of my other bikes. There is absolutely zero, I can say, negative about this bike. Absolutely nothing at all. I love everything about it. So, um, yeah, I hope you would be with me over the winter. I'm going to... I've got about six more Rob stories to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> which I will spread out over the winter months. And um, yeah, I look forward to the spring already. It's not even proper autumn yet, is it? And I'm already thinking forward to the spring. Anyway, guys, thanks again for all your um, comments and all this, the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you on the next video. Ride safe, guys.